Hey everyone, it is time for your February 2024 market update. So without further ado, um, I will share my screen and let you know what is going on here. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Seattle market and the East Side market. Um, and we're also going to discuss interest rates, a little bit shorter video th this, uh, this month. Uh, some of you received my special report. Uh, earlier this month, we talked about how to how to watch interest rates and exactly what they're doing. And I gave you an algorithm, a, a tool. I'm going to touch on that tool once again in this video, just so that everyone's privy to that. And uh, yep, without further ado, uh, if we haven't met, I'm Gary Nims with Amir Real Estate. So what we're looking at here is uh, we're looking at um, the East Side inventory. Eastside inventory has dropped uh, from last or a year ago last month. We were at 1.4 uh, months of inventory. Now we're below one month of inventory. If we look at Seattle, uh, same thing. We've dropped in inventory. Now we're going to switch over to the east side. We'll look at um, uh, we'll look at the percentage of homes that are selling at the list price or above the list price. And uh, we had a tough January compared to previous markets uh, in 2023. 15% of homes were selling at the list price or above the list price. And here we are already at 33% of homes selling at the list price or above uh, this last January. Those are our January numbers. Looking over at Seattle, uh, the same numbers here. We're going to look at uh, last year, we were about 30%. Seattle, 32%, mostly the same over in Seattle. East side, we gave back a little bit more. And let me go back to um, let me go back to median price real quick as well. For the east side, um, we're up 11% year over year. Um, so from January 2023 to January 2024, up 11%. If we go over to Seattle, we are up about 8%. Uh, uh, to uh, from 803 to 869. And remember, we did eclipse a million dollars in uh, uh, in medium price in 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 Seattle uh, back in 2022. So we've given back some, um, and uh, we're, I think we're coming into what we would call a, a healthier market. So East Side, if we look at the speed of the market, um. The speed of the market, uh, we've got 45% of homes that are selling inside of two weeks in, uh, in Seattle. Coming up here, uh, Seattle, we've got 33% of homes that are selling inside of, of two weeks. So that's kind of what's happening right now. Um, our spring market, we're, um, anecdotally or, or from a narrative standpoint, my last listing, we just sold we're under contract for eight and a half percent above the list price. So we've got multiple offers that are happening. It's almost like we kind of switched uh, overnight. I think what's happening is buyers are saying, okay, we're seeing the Fed wanting to start reducing interest rates. And now it's just a matter of when that's going to happen. We better get going before interest rates start reducing and all these buyers flood into the market because we've had you know a tremendous amount of of pent up demand. Now I want to get back to um, uh, our our federal uh, market watch tool for uh, for interest rates, and I'm going to show you how to get there again. If you didn't see my previous video, this will just take a minute. So we go to CME the CMEgroup.com, and then you're going to go to markets, and then you're going to come down here to interest rates. And the CME group, they created an algorithm that's watching short-term uh, interest rates and um, and uh, short-term uh, debt instruments. And so then we come all the way down here to tools. Sorry, guys, I distracted myself. Um, and then CME FedWatch tool. The next Federal Open Market Committee meeting is at twenty eight is in twenty eight days, so it's going to be in March. Now. Uh, the market and this algorithm is expecting that we're not going to have any change in interest rates. In fact, May, uh, there's only a 30% chance 
that we will have a, a reduction in interest rates. But we're looking at June. Uh, there's a 70% chance that uh, we're going to start seeing some interest rate reductions. And then you get into September. Now we're really starting to see this algorithm show uh, some fallback in interest rates. And, 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 and so um, uh, if we look at December, coming into December here, uh, there's, there's an 80% chance that we're going to be one to one and a quarter points below where we're at today. The Fed is really, is really going to start moving here. And if you recall that rule of thumb, that one in 10 rule, um, interest rates reduced by 1%, that increases your purchase power by 10%. It's going to become a very busy market for buyers out there scurrying around with offers. Uh, there is a lot of pent-up demand, like I mentioned. So going out further, uh, some of this you can take a little bit with a grain of salt. But if we go into March, into the spring market, uh, we're going to see between a point and 1.5% below uh, below where we're at today. That is going to create a lot of, uh, of market frenzy. Um, not, I, we're not expecting a market like 2021 or uh, spring of 2022 anytime soon, but um, well, I, I don't expect that in my lifetime. That was absolutely crazy, but that's kind of what you're, that's what we're kind of expecting. That's your February market report. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, reach out and uh, say hello. Uh, most of you have my email, but you can also reach out via my YouTube channel here or um, or my phone number here, 425-269-8151. Thanks, guys. Take care.